Hello, I'm being fun with you. Friday morning and I have completed my swim. First time in three days. My family being away Wednesday and Thursday, it um, makes a mess of my schedule. So it was a bit strenuous this morning getting back in the water, but uh, it was good. Changing rooms are still cold though. So now it's off to work. I'm hoping the rain has gone off and it will be a nice bright sunny day. Um, I don't know what happened there. That last bit got cut off. Well, actually, I do know what happened. I was in the basement of the hotel and the reception is not good. So uh, it just uh, it tries to look for another network operator and, uh, and it just cuts me off. You can see over my shoulder here that it's a bit misty and uh, it's probably cold. So I hope that burns off soon. So, as you see, that was a more misty and foggy dive to work than usual. You know, in some way, uh, it almost makes it safer driving because people don't do so many stupid things when they are driving through mist when they cannot see what is up ahead. On a sunny day, people will try and overtake you and they don't really have space to overtake and you have to make allowances for them. But today, it was all very sensible and uh, everybody's at work safe and sound. I've been listening to the news about um, Mark Zuckerberg and his uh, 5,000 word document that he has produced all about the socialization of the world. And it makes me question, you know, people say the president of the United States is the leader of the free world. But our current president of the United States, the Donald, he got maybe the equivalent of 130 million votes, whereas Mark Zuckerberg has... I think it is 1.8 billion people who are registered for Facebook, maybe somewhat more. They say the monthly usage on Facebook is 1.86 billion users. That is people who go to their Facebook account at least one time in the month. So uh, I think Mark Zuckerberg, um, young man as he is, has a great influence throughout the world. He says he does not want to be a politician. But who knows, maybe if his ideas about social globalization, um, if, they, if they are acceptable, then people will look to him as being a leader of more than just the free world, I mean America, but maybe the, the, the first leader of the whole world. I think this is an interesting concept, especially from a man whose name, Mark Zuckerberg, translates as Sugar Mountain. I'm not trying to say that he, as we say in Scotland, is a big sweetie, but um, maybe has some, um, some good, tasty things to say. I really would like to read the document. I hope they do a translation. That's the supermarket dash for Friday night. I'm now dashing home. Um, I have enough snacks to keep me going for the weekend. And uh, go home and see my wife and children. Hope they are at home and, and hopefully my wife has made some dinner for tonight. By coincidence, we all arrived home together at the same time. It was 8 o'clock. Uh, it is now just after midnight. I've been working slowly through the evening and uh, watching some TV programs at the same time. Uh, but now it's uh, time to go to bed. It's been a long day and uh, I think we've got a lot done. Tomorrow we have a gardener coming to see us at lunchtime. Um, our garden is a mess and has been for... Well, <laughs> ever since we moved in, uh, so we're hoping that this man can maybe wave a magic wand and do a Harry Potter job on the garden and make it something that looks a lot prettier than it is. We'll see how that goes. Tomorrow I also talk about uh, a meeting that I went into today. I was not invited, but I went in anyway because I heard the magic word Tesla 
and uh, I just got kind of um, pulled into this meeting and it's all about Tesla power walls so I'll tell you about that tomorrow I hope you've had a good day um, I hope your weekend is uh, is going to be good too bis zum nächsten Mal tschüss